Okay, welcome everybody. I'm going to play a little Call of Duty and Call of Duty 4 and tell you a little story over here. I should lower my speakers. Alright, so let me tell you a little story about me. Alright, I joined the H4X clan, COD4 clan. I don't know, like almost two years ago. For the better part of two years, I, I was an admin, so I was actually playing in it for even uh, even before then. So anyway, um, you know, I had my problems as far as um, I would tease players, I would play a little, you know, call people noobs. I would go into the server and automatically, whoever had the highest score, as soon as I got a kill on them, I'd click a button like seven or eight or something and um it, it was attached to a bind that would say something like noob down or camper down or something like that and the whole point was just a little friendly trash talk it's like like a football player you know dancing after a touchdown or basketball player swinging from the rim and shattering the glass i don't know but anyway so it was nothing personal it wasn't like i was trying to insult their mother or anything just kind of like friendly taunting and so, anyway, um, what happened was, I guess because of that, it caused, you know, some people to get a little upset, and then on top of it, I was recording some videos, like the ones you're watching, and, uh, that was a dumb move. I didn't see that claymore, really. It was right there. Maybe I just tried to, like, avoid it, or, like, run past it so fast that I was invincible. Um, okay, so, anyway, so, da, 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 I lost my train of thought. So, anyway, so, I talk a little smack, you know, for fun. I would never really try to hurt anyone's feelings, but so some players can't handle that. So, if I would beat them or own them, uh, and then I'd post a video, and I wasn't trying to, like, you know, rub it in their face. Well, sometimes it might have been just to be funny about it, but, um, mostly it was just to show the gameplay and the fun and everything without really a cause, just to post the videos. But anyway, so some people really got offended by that because they'd see themselves on the kill cam and I'd jump up and do a, like a 360 knife spin kill or plan a, to spin around and plant a claymore and blow up two guys or whatever I was doing at the time. And so they didn't like their name being, you know, in that light, basically looking like, hey, you just got owned. So anyway, some of them thought it was funny, some guys laughed at it, some guys appreciated the videos, but I think some of them weren't too happy about it. They thought I was mocking them or, you know, making fools of them. Um, from my perspective, it was just a video game. I've posted videos where I lost or where people owned me and there were, you know, cool kills people did on me and whatever. You know, it's a video game. It's a 10-year-old video game. Some people treat it like it's, you know, the most important thing in the world. It really isn't. Um, so anyway, so let me see what happened was, I went away in January to visit my grandpa, my grandpa who's 93 and uh, not doing well, um, so he, I went away and I didn't play this game for about a month, so um, there are some, I want to note there are some, there are different servers, there's the war server for H4X, there's the free for all server, this is COD4 we're talking, and there's the extreme server. Um, in the, in the beginning, I was played in the extreme server a lot, and it was really fun, and it was all based on things like headshots, and uh, because of score, you got extra points for headshots. So, you know, I found a way to dominate in there, um, even without having the most kills. It was all a matter of going for the head, the headshots, or the knife kills. And so anyway, people caught on to that, and other players started getting good at it, and things like that. But so anyway, um, something happened in the extreme server. It was a great mod, but for some reason the servers kind of died. Like not so many people are there anymore. It's, it's empty a lot. Um, I think that has to do with some of the maps that they put in there and the map rotation. And some people have a hard time downloading the maps and getting in the, ser in the server to begin with. But I don't know the real reason. Something died in that server. Maybe it was the new admins, which is what we're going to talk about right here. So I, I went away in January. So I started playing more in the free for all server and um the uh that's not the same mod so you got to get the most kills so i had to change you know perks and strategies for that but anyway i went away for a month came back and there were newer admins that had been there for a while and there are guys that i had played with for a very long time like colonel mustard was his uh name when um he wasn't an admin, and then he became, I guess, H4X admin, you know, Colonel Mustard. Somehow he got in as an admin, um, which I don't know how, but, it, you know, it's not that hard. I, I recruited some, maybe like five admins myself. 
Um, they're not all still there, but most of them actually are. Uh, one of them turned against me. So, anyway, point is, um, these new admins, this and one in particular, Reggie Hillier, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, named Colonel Mustard, for some reason he just didn't like me, he hated on me, and so, um, it, we we didn't really communicate that much. I don't remember any incident happening where like either one of us really did anything to the other person, but at some point he expressed, you know, that he's not a fan of me and whatever. And so anyway, um, what happened was he started trying to implement all these new rules and, uh, in the, in the, uh, Facebook, um, group for the admins. And I thought some of these new rules were kind of dumb and, and actually, like, I didn't see the motivation behind them, but now I do. Some of the rules were things like, um, you know, players who are owning in the servers, you know, should take a break for sometimes and let others win. So it's this, uh, what do you call it, millennial type mentality of uh, everybody's a winner, what do you call the, the um, snowflake generation, which... I don't know how old the guy is, but that's what he's acting like. Anyway, so that was a dumb rule. And then there was another rule that was, um, you know, if an admin bans a player, that no other admins are to interfere and remove the ban or, um, you know, answer the appeal to the argument or the appeal to the ban, that only the player who banned that particular player should be allowed to remove the ban. And I thought that was a dumb rule as well because that the only motivation I see behind that is for admins to rule and be terrorists and be unchecked because no other admins are, are you know, key, um, what do you call it, regulating and making sure that things are fair. Because there are times that I've banned the wrong people mistakenly. I thought somebody was a hacker because of kill cams, but you know, afterwards I had been corrected and, and realized, hey, I really don't think this person is a hacker. I think you know, I was mistaken. But, um, so they don't, uh, you know, they don't want any of that. They just want to be able to kick people and not have it argued with because they've concluded that person's a cheater just because that che person's better than them. That person owns them at some point or maybe taunts them, maybe owns them and calls them a noob or something. So their way of beating their opposition is to silence their opposition and ban them and just get rid of them. I've heard of several players that I'm convinced are not hackers who have been unfairly kicked and banned from these servers. Uh, one of them is Rex. Um, he's a great pro mod player. And even in the beginning when I saw some of his kill cams, I thought, no way. But um, I'm convinced after like enough investigation and after two years pretty much of being an admin and being able to recognize the difference of what a hack looks like and what a uh, really skilled player, um, you know, playing by reflex looks like. Anyway, uh, so he's one. There was a guy with the name Dolphin. I think he was uh, f unfairly called hacker quite a few times. There was a... Um, a guy, uh, there's a friend of mine named Wands. Uh, he goes by capital J-U-A-N and then a lowercase s. And he's a funny player. And even sometimes I've seen his kill cams. I'm like, no way, how could he have done that? But uh, I'm convinced he's not a hacker. And so he gets kicked all the time for, for things like hacking or... Uh, uh, some of the times there's really ridiculous things like saying an admin's name, like saying the name Ken. And so anybody that's in support of me is mistreated in this in this clan, to say the least. Um, anyway, so I was trying to oppose those new rules, and I tried to offer my own rules to consider, just to like have them be voted on. But I was told that my rules can't even be submitted for a vote until Reggie's were already, you know, implemented uh, and signed in as law. Which once again, it shows the motivation. You know, they would spread my name they would drag my name through the mud and spread lies about me and say that I'm a hacker they would say that I'm a, my, I only care about winning I don't care about the clan but really I think they were just projecting their own feelings because they don't do anything about hackers they don't do anything about spawn campers typically all they do is ban players like me and people that they don't like who are better than them and who win in the games so that they can win just like one of their rules that they wanted was you know take a break and let others win anyway so I got frustrated and I left the admin group because I was tired of this guy spreading lies about me, calling me a hacker, calling me a racist to everybody, just telling downright lies about me. So I left the admin group. 
long story short. And then my admin rights were removed and he formed a team of people who hate me that joined his bandwagon. Ken Roberts is one of them who clearly expressed he wanted me gone and out of the clan, out of the server. They, they blocked me on Facebook so I can't even appeal my bans. They blocked me from the clan, uh, from the clan page. They blocked me from the personal pages. They hide under fake names. They won't even confront me. They ban me. They all take turns banning me under fake names. Um, so anyway, so as a result, my rights were stripped away because I quit that group. I didn't want to see any more posts from them. I think there was some misunderstanding because there are three owners in the clan and only one of them went ahead and removed my rights. Um, so ever since then, you know, I've been bullied, mocked, targeted by them. Even the new admins that are recruited, I have to explain myself to them. There's one admin named, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but it's like Trainivers or something, T-R-A-I-N, it's got an N-V-S, I don't know. But, you know, he seemed kind of cool, but I had to sit there and try to explain to him that I'm not a hacker. And he's sitting there telling me, oh, well, three people say you're a hacker, so three or four people agree you're a hacker, so you have to be a hacker. And I'm like, I don't care if everybody in the server agrees. I don't care if the whole world agrees. I know I'm not hacking, so it doesn't make it a fact just because you want to believe it, just because you can't believe somebody can have such, uh, uh, you know, they say that my predictions are too accurate. Well, whatever. I can hear them coming from my way. Watch this kill that happens right here. This is the whole point of this video. Watch this. So I hear somebody coming and I just decide to spray the wall for no reason, just other than I hear sounds of people climbing upstairs. So I pop at the wall randomly over here twice in a row and get two sporadic random kills. If I saw it, I would think, listen, kill, and then hear more stairs, running, trying the other windows, another kill. So that was totally by luck and just you know just i don't know just wall bang in those spots because that's apparently where guys were and i just heard them by sound so if i saw that i'd i think yeah that's kind of that looks like a hack to me but here it is and i'm showing you it's not a hack it was kind of luck combined with you know good uh, judgment and sound and prediction and just not even i didn't even know that the bullets would penetrate that wall i had never made that shot before and so I'm just showing right here these walls, like this is where I shot through, which I didn't even realize would get any kills. I was just kind of playing around. So anyway, if I saw things like that, I'd be a little suspicious, but I've seen enough to know the difference. So anyway, there was a player named Susan who changed her name to Prophetess because she thought, you know, she liked to say that I was an uh, inspiration, I was a good player, she liked my style. So she changed her name to Prophetess. So, now they started bullying her and mistreating her and to siding over with them. So uh, just to avoid the uh, the abuse from them, she changed her name back to Susan. Uh, so anyone who's my friend who supports me, any admins who support me that try to remove my bands, they get ridiculed. And the owners have been allowing this to go on for like three or four months now. And my only guess is that it's because these tyrant bully admins abusing their power are donating to the server is my guess. I don't know. I really stopped responding to my message about it. I've gotten frustrated every time I enter the server I'm targeted whether I use my name or a fake name they, they realize it's me when I start owning and then they kick me for one reason or another or no reason at all repeatedly until they try to get me going and they try to get me to say stuff and they taunt me and they message me on Facebook and you know curse me out sometimes and call me all kinds of names but then when I when I respond to them and call them liars or try to expose them or say that they're they're liars and or even if I call them a new because they can't tell the difference or I tell them they're not qualified to be admins because they're not they do a horrible job they don't keep the server servers clean they're too busy targeting good players like me for personal reasons they're not even concerned about making the server better when I come in late at night there's hackers running wild there's spawn campers you know and every corner they don't know how to they don't know how to clean the server when i was here it was a lot more fun and I mean, there's a lot of people that would attest to that but anyway so basically that's it they care about increasing their power and so now i'm banned i'm banned even by james who is h4x pred who is an admin that i recruited myself who, when he first joined the server, he was a hacker. And I extended mercy and favoritism towards him and I like gave him a, a prank and you know told him not to hack and and everything and it led to a relationship where he became an admin and now he's even sided with them. And then I got admins like 2AM named Andrew who when they weren't in the clan they were all nice to me and they were trying to ask me how they can join and they were being nice to me and 
learning things from me. I was teaching them glitches and tricks and stuff. And then as soon as they became admins through Reggie and Ken, they're bashing me and taunting me and mocking me and calling me all kinds of names. So that's the background of the story. And if you want to hear more or see where it goes, I'll tell you more. But they're liars, they're noobs, and they're not qualified to be admins. And you can tell them I said so.